Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing really well. Um, so there are a few things I want to talk to you about today. Um, two dreams and some other things. Um, but yeah, here it goes. Okay, so a few nights ago I had a dream. I dreamt I was, I dreamt I was staring out the window. And I was, I don't know what I was looking at. I just remember I was looking outside the window. I was like really, really concerned. And I just said, God, please, I ask you, please, let me be worthy to join you in the marriage. And after that, I saw a man. He had a very colorful coat on, like, um... It was like really really colorful like imagine Joseph right when he had um, the really colorful robe on like it was really colorful but anyway he had uh, the robe on and he had like a little it was like a little hoodie on as well like it was like connected right and I remember he, he was holding this really really like long shofar and he just started to blow it he was blowing that so far really loudly and it's it's as if i remember in my dream that very moment is when it was the signal that the marriage the, there's a marriage ceremony about to begin it's like the initiating of the marriage cer ceremony oh, that was quite an amazing dream um and last night I had another dream. It was a little bit different, I would say, but this is what I dreamt. Um, I dreamt I was in the city and I was walking, I was walking on the street and I just had tears in my eyes. I was crying uncontrollably. I had this immense sadness in my heart. I don't know why, <laughs> but I was crying and crying. And I just said, Lord, when are you going to come? When are you going to come? And then um, somehow I remember in my dream, I went into this little like, I went into this like little room. I'm not sure where this room was though. It wasn't like an ordinary room. It was like a big room where like almost like for students, you know? And I was just checking everything out and there was like, there was like, um, a, a, a table, right? There was a table and then suddenly I saw like on, on the table there were like pictures, like a lot of pamphlets almost, like almost adv advert advertisements. And um, there was a picture of Jesus and it said there was like, so many days left until he comes and then I was like wow okay and then um while all these days were like passing by passing by and I was like okay well it said that he was going to come now but he didn't come and then while everyone thought that you know it was just a scam like Jesus isn't gonna come you know suddenly just suddenly Jesus came down and he appeared and I remember we were me and a bunch of other people we were following Jesus and he was like walking everywhere and um, I remember he said something about um, the people who are not like with him they will they'll be departed basically and um, there was like a big separation between the believers and the non-believers and I remember we kept walking to this one area and there was this really one big house. It looked like a big house and um, it, I don't know what was going on but this house was like really bad. There was like bad things going on inside there and um, like the people were really ungodly. They were just, I, I just don't know, I, I just don't know. But I remember there was one person in my dream, he he went over to this house, this really, really big house that was really bad inside. And, um, like, just before he went in, 
Jesus came and he basically <laughs> he crashed down through the roof of that house and he just completely like like completely I think he wiped it out I don't remember what happened at that at that stage I just remember he came like not crashing down as in like getting hurt and stuff I mean like he basically is like just destroying that house you know it, because there's just so much evil and hatred and ungodliness and so I'm not really sure what that means but um that's really I feel like this the place that we are all living in now right sorry I'm just I'm sitting on the floor it's a bit uncomfortable because my room is a bit busy <laughs> okay um I'm just feeling that the world is escalating downwards I mean I'm just here sitting at the, on the couch I'm just watching some news and I'm hearing about how people are introducing this satanic club for children in, in, the, in the schools in America I'm just like how can people allow this to happen they are deliberately taking out God and putting Satan in I feel like that that is the biggest Oh, I'm just angry, you know, <laughs> I'm angry like I'm smiling, but I'm angry inside. I'm I'm furiated because This isn't right like we are not supposed to take God out of our lives Because if we do then destruction will follow Because wherever Satan is that is where destruction will happen and I'm telling you now these things that are happening is gonna progress and things are just gonna get worse and worse until Jesus comes one day and fixes everything. I mean, I just heard about um, Russia banning people from spreading the gospel. They are not allowed to um, talk about Christianity on Facebook. They are not allowed to openly um, speak about it in pu public. They are not allowed to. They have been banned. It's now illegal. And that is really sad. Like, I feel like we as Christians, we are not supposed to be kept quiet. Who are they to tell us that that we cannot do something, you know? God put us on this earth for a reason, okay? And that is to spread the good news. The good news that God died for you so that you can be saved. And, you know, I don't really care if they tell me that I can't... Do this at some some point you know then <laughs> I, I don't really care because I am not serving them I'm serving God so they can try and they can try shut me up but I will not keep my mouth shut because I live for God and I know that one day God will reward me for the things that I do for him because I serve him not man and we as Christians people we should do the same we should stand up for what we believe. We should stand up for Jesus Christ who died for us. Because he thought about every single person in this world when he died on that cross and shed his precious, precious blood for us. The least we can do is live for him. The time is running short. I can feel it in my spirit that Satan knows that his time is short. And he's doing as much as he can to win the souls of the lost. We need to stick together. Let Jesus speak through you. He will guide you. Let the lioness inside you come alive. And let's show the world that we will not be divided. Jesus loves you and he loves everyone else. But we need to be the light and show them that he is love. Because they will one day see him in the clouds and they will know that he is and he always was and he will be. 
God bless every single one of you. I love you. And I will be back soon. Goodbye.